So we're back on the river again today and we're gonna do a little metal detecting and snorkeling maybe to try to find some treasure. This is the spot where Mike and I have been detecting for a while and he is not here yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. He said he'd be here about, about half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, man, it's roasting, it's gonna be an awesome day. Okay, we have our first signal. It's probably gonna be a sinker. I thought we'd go ahead and dig it together. Oops, I can see it actually. <laughs> I won't get you out for all like all the sinker signals, but you might see a few more fishing weight signals, but you might see a few more. I'll try to, I'm gonna dig all of those signals because it could be something really good too. I mean, it's 90, nine times out of 10 is just gonna be a lead fishing weight, but sometimes it could be like a little ring or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig them. I'm kind of a mixed signal here. I thought we'd go ahead and dig. This is my second, uh, second thing I'm gonna dig today. I'm getting a nice height chirp right there but i think it's also probably a sinker right there let's go ahead and dig this one together too what do you say and turn the machine off and what i do is you know i fan it like that and what that does it gets rid of the the lighter weight stuff like the rocks or actually pretty light underwater and the silt and the sand and stuff and usually the heavier things will stay behind then we can find them easier with the uh, pinpointer little fishing weights that's lead and a coin that's probably just a, a uh, <laughs> of course I had to drop one that's a memorial scent you can see it's all you know it's halfway dissolved I'm they made out of really poor metal this is an American penny or scent this is what we use nowadays and they're just really not made out of copper anymore okay I'll find that um, thing I just dropped and we'll keep moving this is actually a fishing weight it looks a lot like a bullet I mean just like a bullet Except that if you look really close, you'll see a little hole in the base and there'll be a little hole in the top. That's so you can put your fishing line through it. This will actually slide on the line. So if you ever find something like bullet-like and it has a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom, you know it's just a fishing weight or lead sinker. another penny and that's probably going to be a uh, modern one I would guess uh, zinc penny and a little fishing sinker got a nice little squeak there That looks like it's a nut, but I think it's a brass, it's some type of brass nut. That's why it sounded so good. It might not be a nut, actually. It's got something sticking out of the end of it there. And, of course, a lead sinker. just found this giant piece of metal I think it's brass it reads really high and it's quite heavy most awesome put that in a bag if not for recycling that'll uh, help uh, 
hold us to the bottom here after a while when we get in the deep stuff. Like a wheat penny at least. <laughs> so it was a little too deep for the uh, just a snorkel, so I had to go kind of all the way under and I sucked in a little bit of water. So uh, let's give it a minute. We'll go down. It looks like we have some uh, pistol cartridges and maybe a coin, at least that, and that one little hole. So that's pretty sweet. All right, you ready? in a bad little uh bad little hole there um i only see one cart uh, two cartridges okay i'm not sure where that coin is it looks like a nickel of some sort i don't know if it's gonna i think it's a buffalo nickel yeah that's a buffalo nickel right there i don't know if you can see him but he's standing right there <laughs> pretty sweet i don't find too many buffalo nickels Pretty good signal right there. It looks like we got a um, oh, we got another uh, buffalo nickel and silver, a couple sinkers. And I think that's a Civil War bullet right there. Maybe not a Civil War bullet, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be a bullet of some sort. Um, yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I know I should be more excited. <laughs> I am excited. <laughs> Actually, I'm having a blast right now. I think you have another silver coin down here. another silver coin I don't know what it is you have to be really careful with a you know pliers or uh, hemostats whatever you're using because it's so easy to scratch things
also got you there was a girl up there she just subscribed to me and you both so i got you another she <laughs> what she subscribed oh to us, okay yeah. good good excellent yeah, so what you got got a wheat wheat penny, yeah. very nice yeah. man yeah that guy there said he caught a couple good small mouths this oh morning my gosh how dude, big he was, were they? he was following them like, are they they were like two three pounds at least three i mean he's come, nice. had some catfish that were probably really five or six or eight pounds right here right there nice old flat button right there I do believe yep there's a shank on the back that's smushed some writing around the uh, outside of it I don't see the designs on the front but it's interesting it got so smushed that the shank actually started poking through the front huh I guess I was hearing this big old chunk of iron that's been nipped off somehow. But we did also find a couple fishing sinkers and I think the body to a lead toy of some sort, like a soldier or something. I think Mike said he actually found a lead so uh, soldier down here, Civil War era, well, Civil War type soldier down here. So I think that's what that is probably. Let's see what we got out of the hole there. We've got a nice little hook. We've got a couple coins there. It looks like they might be modern pennies though. A couple pieces of iron. There's a bunch of uh, like little 22 bullets and stuff in there, but I'm gonna let them go for now.
your pocket Take your gold chain and your locket Mother Earth has no sympathy She'll take the ring from your hand And bury it in the sand And keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving for.